I recorded three episodes of this game yesterday. And then after doing like one or two things this morning, I'm coming back to it because this game is very fun and I cannot stop playing it. Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. I just made coffee. And this game is Astalon, Tears of the Earth. So let's continue from where we left off. I think, I think last time I played last night, um, I had just purchased, like, a couple really neat upgrades for two of my characters. I think what I bought was the plus 10 damage, plus 10% damage boost for Arius, as well as the damage bonus ability for Kiuli. And it seems like what that does is, like, every time... I shoot an enemy with an arrow, the next shot will deal more damage. Something like that. So yeah, let's continue this game. And like, I don't know, maybe I can make some real progress this time. I feel like the last couple times I played, I kept going back to previous areas, being like, well, let's explore, you know, that other secret that I didn't explore. You know what I mean? Like, I kept going back to the Gorgon Tomb... And maybe deeper into the catacombs when maybe I could be exploring, like, up and to the right here? I don't know. I don't really know. Um, so let's try to figure out where I can go, or where I have to go to make actual progress. Alright, so let's see what this does. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Damage numbers increasing. That's pretty satisfying. So yeah, now every time I shoot someone, my next arrow will do slightly increased damage, and I imagine all of that adds up a whole lot. Oh, I clearly have to be Algus here. Ugh. To hit that orb. And yeah, you can even see in the upper left corner, I have a damage multiplier that says that went up to 1.4x is what it looked like. I guess we'll play with that later, though. Because for now, I need to switch to my Magician! My Mage, in order to deal damage. Sorry, I had to drink some coffee. I woke up and um, played with Tiny Cat and did a little bit of exercise, and then I was like, who am I kidding? I want to create some content. So now... So now I'm back here in front of the computer. Hold on, my doorbell just rang. Alright, I'm back. Somebody came to my door talking to me about, um... Well, I don't want to get too far into politics, but there's like a power company in my state that's like, Oh, we're gonna create, uh, you know, a whole bunch of jobs with this green energy corridor that runs through the wetlands and will destroy the environment. So, I don't know about that one. Probably gonna vote, uh, in such a way that they cannot... They cannot build this corridor through the wetlands. Anyway, anyway, that's just some politics and stuff. So yeah, she came to my door to talk to me about something that I was basically already in agreement of. Okay, so I hit a button. Oh, there are spikes coming up here. I don't have a white key? I could have sworn I had one. But I guess I, guess I tend to use my keys whenever I get them. And I totally wasn't paying attention to those spikes there. But dang it, I, like, finally opened up a door in this section. And it turns out that I can't really continue down that path. So... What else is over here that maybe I... forgot about? I kind of remember being down in that area a whole bunch last night. And is there anything for me to do up here? Can I go through the wall or something? You know how this game loves to have false walls. Illusion walls, even. That's what they're called in DuckTales on NES. Transylvania has an illusion wall. You remember that. Okay, and I need Q Lee to go this way, but 
I don't I don't remember much being over there besides some treasure. So yeah, let's give this area a once over once more. Uh, I can just like cheese this dude through the ladder because again, Alcus can shoot through walls even if they're not illusion walls. It's magic. I don't have to explain it. Okay, I did go this way. What does he have to say about Linus? This map ends here. I guess this is Linus the cartographer. Okay. Um, interesting that each character has, like, slightly different dialogue or reactions to, like, the same events. Or dead bodies, in this case. Okay, have I gone? I have not gone to the right here. Let's go this way. Wait a second, but this looks familiar. Oh, wait, no, I have. Okay, I keep, I keep looking at the wrong spot when I'm looking at the map. So I have, I have been to this room. I remember this. There's like a, there's like a, a hidden button in that little square area. And I haven't done this? I kind of remember being here, but I didn't um, fight this guy. And I know I said that I was going to be Cooley this episode. I jumped straight into that. That was a bad idea. Well, I killed him. But do I have... Yeah, okay. Why haven't I gone this way yet? Maybe I just forgot. All right, well, hey, I discovered a new area. Let's do this. Or did I die here last time? I don't really remember. But this is clearly a place where I have not been yet. I gotta watch out for spikes again. What did that do? You got rid of some blocks for me? Oh, so now I can go this way? What is that thing? Ah! Oh, it's just a, a laser eye beam. Well, I can probably shoot through the wall at him, can I not? Good dodge. You know what? I really want to kill a bunch of those guys for my bestiary, but yo, look at this. A pair of boots or something? At the very top of this tower? Speaking of which, I know when I get into the elevator, there's an option for me to go to the apex, but yo, I got the Talaria boots? Arius only. Blue winged boots that belong to a holy messenger. Press Y to dash forward. Yes, now Arius can run? I love that. Alright, I want to kill a couple of these guys, and you know exactly why. Kind of dangerous dodging that thing. Um, this guy's not giving me a whole bunch of money. I just I just want to farm him until uh, I can complete my bestiary. I don't know if I'm like being too much of a completionist about that, but it does give me money when I fill out certain sections of that book, so I assume it's a book. And I'm taking a bunch of hits, so I don't know if this is worth it, but. I did find a new item, okay? It'll probably tell me how many of these guys I need to kill. Yeah, that many. I did it. Again, every time you see that little sword icon pop out from an enemy when you kill it, that means you've killed the required amount to um, fill out the information section of your bestiary for that beastie. I really hope that I am not pronouncing that word wrong, or that I am, and it's funny. Hey, any false walls? No, doesn't look like it. Um, also, I haven't killed too many of those little... You see that little flappy dragon? I don't, I'm not sure if I've killed enough of him. Ah! Oh, that's money. I'm collecting money. I got freaked out for a second because I was like, what is that blue and white orb flying toward me? dead. 
Jump! Ow. Oh, this little slime guy is like one of those things from Mega Man that like... When you're on the... When you're standing on the same horizontal plane as it, it will go faster. Or maybe you don't even need to be standing, you just need to be level with it. Gotta kill that! Alright, I feel like I'm using the wizard too much. Any false walls? Alright, I'm just checking. But I think next time I get to a campfire, I'm gonna switch. I just, like, felt like I had to use this guy because there were a bunch of, um... There were a bunch of orbs that needed to be activated with his magic. You know what I'm talking about. So what's the point of this over here? Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what that was about. I'm not sure what the reason was to go up there. Here's a campfire. And I love that every time you're at a campfire, the music is like a little bit um, calmer. It's like the same song, but slightly different. All right, let's shoot some dudes. All right, I have a 1.4x bonus. Does that apply for the next enemy that I hit? Ah, I almost got squished by a platform. It does. Oh, it doesn't even have to be the same enemy. As long as I make consecutive shots, I can get, I guess, up to a 1.5x damage bonus. see a key over there. I probably need to hit that switch first, huh? Ugh, I didn't mean to do that. I missed because I was trying to get out of the way of this creature. So I lost my damage bonus, but like, not a big deal. That's really good. That is better than I thought it would be. Wall kick. Up the ladder. Wall kicks will work. It's like a Mario thing, right? Mario 64! Alright. Boom! 20 damage. Killed him in one hit since I was at a 1.5x bonus. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't kill that guy, though? I thought I had the bonus. I guess not. I assumed one hit would kill that guy since 20 did it before. Or maybe, maybe it ran out? Because I waited too long? I got a white key though. Didn't I need that somewhere? Okay, I think it ran, I think my bonus ran out because I went to the next room is what happened. Okay, so where did I need that white key? Uh, I can go up from the from the room to my right, apparently. I might have needed a white key here. Oh, I have to lean in real hard to see the the map because my eyesight is awful. I really love this orb collector item that I found. Because I can just shoot an enemy from anywhere and get all the muns. I can also go down. I haven't gone down yet. Alright, so where was that thingy? Oh, there's just straight up a switch down here for me to hit. In fact, there are two! I love to hit switches. Like I'm Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. I feel as though I've been this way before, right? Yeah, yeah, I definitely I definitely was here. Is that where that warp point was? Let's take a look at, at the left for a second. Aha, I wall kicked off the floor. Yeah, I have been here. This is where the scary warp point was. Is there anything behind these columns that are in the foreground? I'm trying to like climb down a ladder here or something. Just in case there's a hidden ladder. 
That was stupid of me. I did like a panic jump there. By that I mean I did a bad move. You have not yet fulfilled your promise. I will send you back. Is there anything else? Yeah, uh, matter of fact. Why don't I get some defense for this character? Because she keeps... It's hard not to get hit with her. Oh, but Assassin Strike is so tempting. Fine. I'll get Assassin Strike. She has two abilities? And then, what is... Let's see what this does. I don't know what Invincibility 1 does. I need more time. Are you sure? Yes. Your invincibility duration has been increased by 0.1 seconds. That's not that much. Does that mean my, like, um... My iframes when I get hit... Also, like, I just noticed that there are... There appear to be human bodies in these little bubbles in this mound of flesh that's in front of me. This game's great. Okay, let's, like, try getting all of these and see what they do. I want to get all of the bonuses. Let's go. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to drink my coffee. So I'm gonna lift back to somewhere that's pretty far from where I died, huh? But like, how do I get up here? That's, <clears throat> that's where the next bosses and stuff are. Well, there's one down in the catacombs. Maybe I should go that way. But, like, this area is of interest to me. I don't know if there's any more, like, in this upper right section of the map that I have to explore. But that look, it looks like there are two rooms here that maybe I could do something with. See ya. So, like, wait, what did I get? I got, um, did I get one defense for her? No, 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 I got the critical hit thing. And I will go this way. Because this is where I was before, right? Oh, I'm wasting the bonus. That's okay. I'm just trying to shoot these spideys. I missed, though. They're very tricky to hit. Yeah, okay, so it does appear that the bonus erases, um, or resets when I go to the next room. Spider? You're annoying me. I can, like, yeah, I was about to say, if I snipe him from, did I crit with that, too? The spider is, like, just large enough that, like, if there's a one square block in front of him, you can just, like, tap his spikes at the top, you know? Get off of the ladder, thank you. Um, it looked like for a second that I did a critical hit there because the damage number that displayed was in a different color. This guy thinks he can hit me from there. 5% chance to crit isn't that good, honestly. But I imagine that if you have, like, your full, um, you know, uh, bonus. And you just keep wailing on a boss, like, that'll be very useful. So I was going down this way. So it seemed like... The slime. Got him. All right. I meant to jump down the ladder. All right. Bang. Okay, so this was where I was kind of about. I didn't go to the left, did I? I haven't gone to the left yet. Bop. And then what was I doing? Was I trying to go up here? Nope. Maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can kind of see in the upper left there, there's like a hole in the ceiling that I could go through. And like, 
Dude, this whole game, like these statues in the back, that looks super cool. And this game is just full of really cool details like that. Some of which do nothing, like they're completely useless other than they look cool. And I really appreciate that dedication. Okay, so... I guess I can go up or down here. But it looks a lot like I've been to this area before. Yeah, over to the left was that warp area. What was here? Did I get something here earlier? Have I been here before? That was a bad idea. Uh, I'm just a little clumsy on the ladders. Oh, he can hit me there? I should have known. He can hit me there, too. Alright. Fake fake switch, or uh, invisible switch gave me a blue key. Thanks, Mr. Snack. This is called the Serpent's Tower. Kind of forgot about that, and that's why there are so many serpents all over here. But I took a bunch of unnecessary damage. If there was an illusion wall here, that would be trouble, actually. But hey, I got a blue key. Okay, that guy can actually reach pretty far, like, over the area where he's walking. And it looks like you can quickly climb ladders by just like jumping on them while you're climbing them. Anyway, let's save. And I kind of want to be this character now because, oh, look at this, he can dash. He can even dash jump. Oh my goodness, that gives me so much more distance. That's what it seems. Yeah, look at that. So it looks like if I tap the Y button, I'll do like a short dash like this. But I can I I can jump in the I didn't mean to say if I can jump in the middle of it to get like some crazy distance on a dash jump. And by the way, if you look at the upper right near my keys, I love this. When you save, there's like a little floppy disk icon, and I know that's like a common thing, but I still love seeing the floppy disk as like a symbol for like, oh, you're saving your data now. That's such an outdated reference that people still use. I remember floppy disks when I was younger. In fact, I remember the real floppy ones, like the ones that were bigger and they were actually floppy. Where am I now? Have I been here? This looks like an area that I might have never um, explored before. Obviously. Obviously that, um, shooty pillar is going to activate when I hit that button. Nothing over here? That's fine. But yeah, now Arios is like an awesome character for platforming. Now that I have this dash. What's this way? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. This is where I was trying to get, um, last night. Yesterday because there is a boss in here. Um, did you see what I saw? Oh, I can reflect his claws? Wait a second, I think I saw that, I think I saw that in the trailer for this game. Yeah, now that I have this like mirror sword thing, I can throw his claws back at him when he, when he shoots them. This guy, Sword of Mirrors, a shimmering blade that reflects magic. Apparently those, those claws are magic. I needed to bring a different character here. Um, well, let's go get Algus. I'm not sure what activating this orb will do, but I imagine it gives me a quick way back to this area, or, or to and from this area. So... I feel like every time I switch characters, like... Oops, that was dumb. Every time I switch characters, like, oh, let's play this other one for a while, I end up switching back to Algus. Who I think is the best fighter, but not the best at platforming. It's my opinion. He doesn't get a cool dash or a wall kick. But he can kill jars. He's such a kill jar. What is the point of this square? 
and it's missing its counterpart. There's no symmetry in this level. Okay, that opened that door over there. Yeah, it just, it basically just gave me, uh, a way to come back. Shit. Oh, I have a blue key, so I can get that item behind that door, which I believe gives me a... Why am I so bad at falling on this platform? I think that item is an HP increase. A max HP increase, that is. Okay. Aha! Look at that. Ow! Max HP plus five? I didn't expect that. I thought it was just a one. Well, okay, um, what's this way? I kind of want to go to the right from that platform, but, but, I really want to use a different character, because I feel like I've overused this guy. He's great and everything, but I want to show the variety of this game, you know what I mean? Plus, Arias is faster now. <laughs> Dang. I really thought I could make it. Oh! I walked right into that dude. Like an idiot. I'm playing very sloppy, um, and it might have something to do with the fact that I didn't sleep last night. But that's okay. I can get Cartographer or Bloodlust. I just, I want to know what those do. Also, I still don't know what Inner Fire does, and I, I must admit that I tried to look up a couple things about this game. I, I didn't look up much, but what I found... I didn't want to spoil too much for myself, you know what I mean? But what I found was that the internet has no idea what Inner Fire does, so like, maybe I'll hold off on that. Health up five. Oh, health up number five, right. Well, let's just get the cheap one. Locked doors will now be written down on your map when you uncover them. That's sort of useful. Can anyone get a strength up? No. Alright, that's fine. I could maybe visit my um, bestiary friend to get some money. To get some orbs, as they are called. Um... Oh, look at this. Okay, so white key here. I don't know what that symbol is, but look, there are more symbols on my map. That's cool. What do I have? A white key? Oh yeah, that'll help me there. I did run into an area where I needed a white key, did I not? And then what are these symbols? I do not remember. But it appears there's there should be a room here if there's a door there. Man, this game is so good. I just want to keep playing it over and over. I just want to keep playing it all day. Yeah, I didn't mean over and over. That would imply that I've beaten the game once. But I imagine that I will once I do beat it. The, the secrets menu sort of implies that once you beat the game, there's more. Because it did say something about like, oh, unlock um, this secret by meeting someone on the, you know, in the main game, or like in your first playthrough, or it said something like that that implied like, oh, there's gonna be bonus content when you get to that second playthrough. Anyway, look, these dash boots are so good, so I'm gonna use Arias. This is a speed run now. Um, where do I wanna go? Where do I wanna go? Where was I going? I know there's a white door here that I can unlock now. But I still want to go back here and see if um, I can get to those doors, you know? Like, look, there are clearly two rooms here that I haven't discovered. Snakes? I don't know what to call these things. Let's look it up. Bone snake. Okay, it is a snake. Confirmed. The snake with something else's skull as a hat. And I think right up here is where, um... Oh, there's a key there. That's why I want to do that. <laughs> that was kind of funny, actually. I just, like, randomly swing my sword and uncover. 
an item that I'm trying to find. Yeah, I, I was trying to do this, I think. Oh, I accidentally hit the dash feature. Oh, right, because you can double tap to dash. You know what? I probably want to turn that off. I, before I started the game, before I even had the dash, I turned that option on. Thinking like, yeah, that'll probably be useful, but like, knowing that the dash function is mapped to a button that I do not otherwise use, I don't think I'll ever need to double tap to dash, you know? In fact, it kind of messed me up there. So yeah, I, I can easily accidentally double tap to dash when I don't want to. I thought maybe I could get through the wall there. Okay, so I have a blue key. Here's a blue key door, let's go there. And then we'll check out that white door on my map. Or that white key icon on my map. But also, is there another key? Is there another key in that jar there? No. And how do I get there? Probably like this. That was nothing. All right, all right. It was worth checking out. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. I keep I keep dashing by accident with this double tap to dash feature, and maybe I don't want that. Or maybe I do. Maybe the game knows better. Um, and where am I going? Sorry. I... For those of you who watched my Metroid Prime stream a long time ago, you know how often I need to look at the map when I'm going somewhere. Like, when I was playing Metroid Prime, it was like, okay, look at the map. Alright, I need to go straight twice. That's it. That's all I need to do is go straight twice to get to where I want to go. And then... Oh, what's this? I've been here. And then I would go straight once and be like, okay, wait, now what do I need to do? <laughs> Aha! That jump is so good. Okay, what's in this room? Inspect! The corpse holds a note. The ancient black armor is said to heal itself when submerged in blood? <gasps> well, let's get myself some black armor. Or is it talking about the Black Knight's armor? I mean, that's probably what it's talking about. But I used a key to get a whole bunch of money and a clue. So that's cool. How did this guy get in here? He locked himself in this apartment over here. With all of his money. Okay, that was kind of neat. Let's maybe go down to this room where I need a white key. See ya! Bird? <laughs> Clearly a bird. This dash is very satisfying, actually. Oh, I can't interrupt it with an attack. For some reason, I thought I'd be able to can't I'd be able to stop my dash by hitting the attack button. In fact, you you really can't cancel that dash unless you jump. That's the only way to cancel that dash. I can't uh, I can't hit the opposite direction to to stop my charge. Aha! I reflected the magic. He reflected it right back like it was Pong. Or he shot another, I guess. Okay, so where am I going? Let's go... Down? How do I get there? How do I get down here? I can't really remember how to get to this area. How do I get down into this part? Is there a warp I can take? I f I'm a little confused here. Also, there's a white key up in this room. I could try that. Ah, I almost got bit by a bone snake. This looks like an annoying jump. Going too far. I am playing very recklessly today. I hope you don't mind. Okay, so I think I was here earlier, and that's sort of how I got into this lower area. That was terrible timing. Why did I do that? 
Okay, I feel like my timing is off today, but not my comedic timing, at least. I don't know. Can I hit that guy? Okay, what's over here, then? Okay, that's where I got that. Uh, I found, like, a hidden key or something. Alright, so now I'm back to here, and I, and I know there was, like, just straight up an area that I didn't really explore somewhere this way. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like I'm a little bit reoriented now. I can take on this skeleton. I want to kill that slime. Because I don't think I have enough of these guys for my bestiary. Plus, they give good money. I'm trying to drop down, thank you. Mm, is this what I want to do? No. How do I get to this lower area with the blue? I already forgot. I seriously already forgot how to get down there. It doesn't look like there's a doorway between these two rooms. Maybe I need to review some footage. Because this just brought me back to where I was hanging out, where I, like, dang it, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that I couldn't interrupt my dash. But yeah, this is where that mini-boss was. I just came from over here. I got a max HP up, I mean, that was worth doing. Alright, maybe I should dash less if I want to be careful. And then, like, what was up here again? I'm so bad with maps. I went up there for like a key or something, right? Now where am I? I've completely forgotten how to get to that lower area. What's up, everybody? This was just like a key over here. Yeah, okay. Oh, and I kind of remember there was something tricky over here about, like, I... I need to cut this open, but also I need Algus for this section, right? Because there was, like, an orb for me to hit. Is there, like, a hidden switch for me to find somewhere over here? Because, like, how do I raise this door, you know? That's what I'm thinking. And if I, if I can do that... So that's why I'm jumping around like a cool guy. I'm just like trying to find a, an invisible switch. <sighs> kind of remember this. And then what was this way? Dang it, I, <laughs> I meant to jump and I just straight up hit the wrong button. What was the point of this room? Still looking for that switch. Still looking for an invisible switch. Like, what is this face for here? And that guy. Alright, I'm getting a little lost here. Yeah, like, I need Algus to shoot these dudes. But how does, how does he access this area? Okay, maybe this is what I should figure out next. While well, I have 9 HP. And, and, that shield icon that's next to my life? I still don't know what that signifies. Oops, didn't mean to jump all the way down, but that's fine. I was in here earlier. 
to find an item of sorts. Oh yeah, it was this. It was the sword. I keep hitting the wrong button. Now that there's a third button involved, I keep hitting the wrong one. Okay, um... Unless I'm an idiot and Arius can now activate the orbs with his magic. With his sword, I mean. Oh, that was a weird jump. No, I can't. Uh, if there was something shooting magic in here, I could reflect it. Maybe. But yeah, I don't know what this room is for. Dang it, I keep double tapping by mistake. It's making me nervous. I thought there might be a hidden switch under that block that just crumbled. So, where do I go? Oh, I can kill- oh, I see. Okay, maybe I can kill this guy simply by reflecting his stuff back at him. Alright. Well, I thought- I predicted that he would shoot a far one there. Yeah, I have to- I have to have him shoot at me. Bop. Okay, this is happening. It's slow, but it's happening. We got 5 HP, better not mess it up! Dang it, I double tapped. Okay, I want to turn that option off. Double tap to dash? Uh, kind of detrimental to me whenever I'm just like trying to get like a very specific position. I didn't realize that I could reflect it by hitting it from the other side. And yeah, there I accidentally dashed. I could just turn the boots off entirely for this fight. Ah, got him. Okay. Will that open a door for me? Yes, it does. And I think I filled out my bestiary. Did I not? Uh, what is this? If you had a way to reflect the projectiles out of, of out of reach monsters back at them, you could defeat them from a distance. Who knows what could happen by doing that? Okay, there was straight up a hint for it, and I didn't even see it. But I am so smart that I figured it out. Okay. Now I can go get my friend Gus. That's short for Algus. And then hopefully make it back through this part with 2 HP. Jump up the ladder. I almost died there. See ya. That was a weird maneuver. I can j oh do you see this this is like some Donkey Kong Country shit I can jump in mid-air if I dash off of a ledge and then jump I can jump in mid-air oh my gosh that's so good it doesn't seem to work every time there might be a timing to it but I discovered something everybody completely by accident But yeah, now Algus can get through here! And I can get to those orbs. Hopefully with some HP. Alright, it was this way, I think, right? There's gotta be something else to this room, right? Ah, now I can check out what this big scary um thingy is. I don't, I don't love when the music stops. <gasps> hey, you there? 
Ah, Algus, says the old man. I have waited for this moment. You know me? You could say that, yes. It's Algus from the future. That's what he's implying, clearly. I've been following all of your exploits. Huh? I know of your birth, of your adventures with the wielder of the crystal sword. And, oh yeah, that's Arius. He's got the crystal sword, does he not? And of your pact with the titan of death. How could you know of that? Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. What matters is that you are closely tied to all of this. I don't know, it sort of matters who you are, in my opinion. More than you may know. Closely tied, please tell me. We don't have time now, but take this. It's a gun. What? What is he doing? Take this! And he just, like, hadoukens me. Huh? It's bread. What? What is this? Is this some kind of a joke? It will all make sense in the future, my friend. I must take my leave. I hope we will meet again. Wait, I have many questions. I know, but I ain't got time. Hmm, he's gone. And what is this strange thing? I suppose I should find the others. Do I have a familiar now? What is that? Monster ball, Algus only. On, a stone ball received from the strange old man contains a familiar monster. Ha ha, I called it. Can I grab this? I thought maybe I could grab onto that little uh, spider web and climb it. Well, let's go find the others. That was neat. Can I turn the orbs off on the way out? Well, obviously I'm gonna put the... Well, obviously I'm gonna put the stone... That was close. I'm gonna activate this thing with my familiar over here. Hey, familiar, can you do anything with this? No? Like, I, it's just weird to me that there's like a statue face and it's not shooting at me and there's no way to activate it. That's all I'm saying. That's why I keep being like, what is the point of this side of the room? Is there a switch that I missed? Maybe there's one up there. I, I, I probably tried looking for a switch all over here, did I not? I have my eyes elsewhere on the screen, and that's why I missed that uh, jump a couple times. Okay, let's find the others. Aha! Fly up the elevator! And I will go this way. Okay, others. I might be able to do a cutscene here if I rest. Yep, I can. Let's watch it. Hey, have you run into an old man hanging around in this tower? Yeah, you. Yep, he sits with us presently. Haha, <laughs> ah, oh, I made the jo I'm sorry. I made the joke that Arius was going to make. Ha 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 ha. Arius, I'm not old. I mean a really old man with a long beard and ragged clothes. Mm, no, I haven't seen anyone like that. Neither have I. Why do you ax? I talked to him briefly. He seems very strong in the art of magic. And he mentioned a few things that I find perplexing, but no matter. By the way, here's my, um, familiar friend. Mushrooms and a big steak. Not your typical camping meal, is it? That's incredible. How did you manage to make that? It smells so yummy. I really mean it this time. My mouth is watering just by looking at it. Go on, try it. Don't mind if I do. I hope he uses his sword as a knife. How is it? Heavenly. You've truly outdone yourself this time, Al. They don't call him Gus? I thought it might be Gus. Wait, why aren't you eating it? <laughs> no reason. Algus, where did you find this steak? I found it in a cave. Which cave? The one with the shooting spore mushrooms. They were all bundled up in a corner. There were two big ones in front. And a bunch of small ones hiding behind them. They made a funny squeak sound when I plucked them from the ground. So cute. Oh no. Algus, what have you done? 
Heal 25 HP. That's kind of neat. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here because I don't really know where to go next. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this episode of Astalon, Tears of the Earth, Wind and Fire. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Thank you so much, Patreon patrons, as well as my mems and my other donors, and anyone who watched me play this game, to which I am very clearly addicted.